how is it going everybody mr android here well it's the end of 2022 and this year i've already featured a lot of amazing applications on this channel i thought why not go ahead and show you the 10 best free android applications of 2022 trust me you will end up at least downloading couple of useful applications from this video so stay tuned and watch it till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started Nowadays, most of these smartphones comes with a huge display and it becomes really difficult to access your phone with just one hand. Quick Cursor is a really useful application which makes it easier to use your large phones with one hand. You simply need to swipe from the edge and you get this cursor that you can use to reach the top portion of your screen. I can drag it around to move the cursor, tap on it to select, then it disappears on any action outside the circle or after a few seconds of inactivity. Guys, if you're using gestures on your phone, then you can increase the trigger size by going inside the app's settings. I think this app is extremely useful, especially when you have to interact with the top portion of your screen. Definitely check this one out, you will find all the links in the description below. Next up, we have an app called FloatTube. This is an app that lets you play YouTube videos in a floating window like this. If you are a person who doesn't have YouTube Premium, but you still want to watch videos in picture-in-picture -picture mode, while chatting with your friends or doing something else on your phone, then it's a must-have app for you. All you have to do is head over to the Play Store and install this app. Once done, simply open, then go to the settings and grant the permissions that is required. Now go to YouTube and play any video of your choice. Here if you want to play that video in PIP mode, then simply click on this share icon and select this icon that says play by float tube. That's it. Now you will be able to play videos in PIP mode even if you don't have YouTube premium account. Make sure you check this one out. Next up, we have an app called Dynamic Spot. If you really want to get iPhone 14 Dynamic Island on your Android phone, then all you have to do is simply download this application from the Play Store and then select all the apps for which you would like to activate this feature. Once done, simply go back and allow the basic permissions that is required. Now whenever you receive any notifications on your phone, you will have this beautiful animation around your phone's notch and if you long press, it gets expand and shows you even more information. Apart from this, you can increase or decrease the size of the spill and there is also an option to show phone's battery status. Overall, it works exactly like a dynamic island feature that we have in iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. Right now, I am in Play Store and if I quickly want to open Instagram, I don't have to close this application, then go back to my home screen and open the other app. Instead, I just need to tap like this and it opens a unique looking sidebar from where I can easily access all my applications. I think it's one of the quickest way of switching between applications and it definitely improves your multitasking experience. The app is called Circle Sidebar and it is completely free to download. Once installed, just go ahead and allow all the required permissions. This app also allows you to customize the trigger area. You can change the size, position and even the color as well. Make sure you check this one out. Instead of opening the quick settings just to change the brightness, I can simply swipe over like this and easily control the brightness level. Not only this, I can change the volume while playing music on my phone and if I double tap, it takes the screenshot. The app is called Super Status Bar and you can find a direct link in the description below. Once you have installed the application, just allow the required permissions and then start assigning different gestures for different actions. The app also allows you to add a very cool battery bar in your notification panel. I think this app is really useful and it changes the entire way how you use the status bar on your Android phone. Moving on, we have a brand new launcher that recently launched in the Play Store and it's called Stereo Launcher. If you really want to have a decluttered home screen experience, then this launcher is perfect for you. Once you set it as your default launcher, you get this clean looking home screen where you get the clock and battery widget on the top. Not only that, if you play any music on your phone, you have this beautiful music widget that looks really really nice. When you swipe up, you get access to all the applications you have installed on your phone and by swiping right, we also have this simple note taking interface where you can write down all your important notes. Apart from this, if you really want to search any application, then you just need to swipe up in the home screen. All in all, this launcher is extremely fast and the overall animation feels really really smooth. If you're looking for a minimalistic launcher, then definitely try this one out. Next up, we have a really cool browser that I recently came across and it's called Float Browser. It's a really useful application which basically helps you to browse all the websites in a floating window. Let's say if I want to open YouTube, it will open in a floating window like this. 
This way, I can easily watch videos while browsing other things on my phone. The best part is you can resize and change the position of these floating windows and open as many you want. All in all, it's a great app which definitely enhances the browsing experience on your Android phone. Moving on, we have a very useful application called Black Screen. This is an app that lets you play videos with screen off. Basically, when you are listening to a podcast or watching any music videos on YouTube, then there is no need of keeping your screen on. In such situations, what you can do is you can use this app to turn off your screen and save a lot of your phone's battery. Simply enable Black Screen within the application, and then you will have this floating button. Now, whenever you are listening to a podcast or any music on your phone, you just need to tap on this button and it will turn off your screen while you can continue listening to your favorite songs. If your device has an AMOLED screen, then this app will surely save some battery. Next up, we have an app which goes by the name called Flex Scroll. If you are tired of using your thumb for scrolling through social media feeds, blog posts and web pages, then this app is perfect for you. What it does is basically it allows you to scroll automatically by a simple tap of a button. You just need to select the apps where you want to activate this auto scrolling feature. Once done, now when you open that specific app, you get the controls button on the right side. You just need to tap on the auto scroll and the page will start scrolling automatically without the need of your thumb. You can also increase or decrease the size as per your requirement. Well, I use this app a lot while reading articles or going through my social media feeds. Overall, I think it's a very useful feature and if you do a lot of reading on your phone, then you must install this app. Finally, we have an app called Remind Me. I know there are a lot of reminder applications that you can find on the Play Store, but this one has one unique feature that lets you quickly pin all your reminders to the notification shared in just one click. Let me show you how it actually works. Once you have installed this application, you can easily set up a new toggle in your quick settings. Now, whenever you want to create a reminder, just tap on this toggle and it quickly allows you to pin any reminder in the notification shed. I think it's a really handy feature that lets you write down anything in just one click. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are 10 best applications of 2022. Let me know in the comment section which is your favorite application. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.